Antibiotics for chronic Lyme have always been controversial. And one of the reasons for this is the length of time that is needed to treat someone with chronic Lyme. There are some groups who believe that a longer term treatment provides no additional benefit over the short term treatment. And then also the antibiotics can have a detrimental effect on the gut, on the microbiome of the gut, the good bacteria that need to be there. Antibiotics don't really prefer one or the other. They, they treat the good bacteria and the bad bacteria and kill them both off. So, so that can be a problem for patients. Looking at that specific problem, the goal would be to find something that can treat Lyme but not interrupt the gut bacteria. The good news is, is that there seems to be an antibiotic that's on the verge here that, that could provide that for us. In the most recent ILADS conference in Boston, the annual conference, there was a talk that discussed an antibiotic called hygromycin A. Now this is not a new antibiotic by any means, and this is something that many in the Lyme world have already heard about, but it's not commercially available, it's not something that we can treat with at this time. It's still in that investigational stage. This particular talk was really exciting. They, they talked about how this particular antibiotic works in relation to other antibiotics and how does it affect Lyme, not only in a test tube, but also, in this case so far, in animal studies. So the first thing to know about hygromycin A is that it's selective, meaning that it only affects certain types of bacteria. And when they've done the, the research on this particular area, what, it, what they found is that it really only affects spirochetes, which is what Lyme is, among other things. But the bacteria in our gut are not spirochetes, and so those are left unaffected. And there's a certain transporter mechanism that, that allows this particular antibiotic to be absorbed by, by spirochete bacteria and not by others, which is why it's, it is selective. So another thing about that is that this particular antibiotic is also very effective at killing Lyme. In a study that was done, like I mentioned, not only in a test tube, but also in animal studies, in this case with mice, they found that one dose of hygromycin A basically eradicated Lyme within these mice. Now these were acutely infected mice, and so seeing how that affects a, a chronic patient with a patient with chronic Lyme or um, how it affects someone in the human body, it's gonna be different and there's gonna be things that we need to learn about that. But it's exciting to know that there is an antibiotic out there that has the potential to, to treat Lyme and not cause more problems. Um, that's been one of the biggest struggles and I would tell you that that's what I see with a lot of my patients is that there, there are patients who can do just fine, who has seemingly have like a, a gut made of steel, and then there are others who, you know, antibiotics longer than a couple of weeks, and you're talking stomach upset, nausea, diarrhea, uh, crampy and bloaty, and so it's, it's not, uh, it's something that's tough to, to use with every single person. So the hope would be is that we're gonna find some of these things as we go along and, and find options that work for more people. My hope would be is that not only do we find that this, this continues to provide that same effect in human trials, uh, but also that it's safe. So that's really the next step. And actually there are some trials that are scheduled to start in 2024, so next year, evaluating the safety of hygromycin A, starting with healthy individuals. And that's generally how they start these trials. They'll, they'll recruit people that are considered healthy, that do not have Lyme, to take these medications and see what kind of effect it has on their body. After we get past that safety study, only then can we start actually using this as a trial to treat Lyme. So it's still probably at least a few years off, but there are things on the horizon and that's exciting for Lyme and for uh, the possibilities that are to come. My hope also is that one day that this will not be such a controversial thing. There are more and more studies that come out every year now showing how these infections can cause, can cause chronic problems with people. And I think it's only a matter of time before one of these research studies proves that these bacteria can persist to the point and, and also be treated to the point where other organizations such as the CDC um, Infectious Disease Society of America, IDSA, 
that they actually recognize that there is something going on here and something that, that needs more attention and something that we actually can help.